Majesty, there's been a second boss! Let the beauty pour every beauty night in! Welcome to the UK, where antisocial behaviour is only acceptable up until the point where someone is severely injured or if not killed. Now, regarding this absolute scumbag called Mizzy and their viral criminal content, I'm wanting to talk about three things. The first one being is they've actually uploaded an apology video to their YouTube channel. The second thing is the state of the UK justice system and also the self-defence laws being non-existent and why I believe this is going to end up creating vigilantism not just within the UK but with other parts of the world and the third one being overall racism. So with all that being said, let's get right into it. So before I start talking about my three main points that I want to make, I'm sadly going to have to very quickly summarise who this absolute criminal scumbag is. So for any of you who have not seen this by some miracle, there's been a TikToker going by the name of Mizzy who's been uploading content of them committing crimes throughout London. Now, they've committed multiple crimes and they've been uploading for quite a long while, but recently they've uploaded three different types of crimes they've committed and it's been going absolutely beyond viral. The first one being is him and his little stupid arsehole friends breaking into people's houses, taking over like they own the place while the families are in the house and terrorising the little kids as well that are living in there. The second one being is him walking up to a sweet old elderly woman in a bench in a park in London somewhere and lifting her little tiny dog up and running away and stealing the dog. And the third one being is charging towards people full speed and basically asking them do you want to die very aggressively while trying to pin him in a corner so they can't run away. The whole joke behind it is that he, wa he whips out a bottle of hair dye and goes do you want to die bruv? As in D-Y-E. Like, I think you look good with hair dye. Like, that's the whole joke behind it, honestly. That's what this person has been most well known for. Harassing, making people think they're actually going to die or putting people in a fight or flight position, essentially, which from what I've seen of the content, it's been 99% flight, essentially. So, very recently, he's actually uploaded a apology video to what I believe is one of his friends who's always appearing in the background like a fucking brain-dead goblin. Uh, onto his YouTube channel with an apology video. Now, before I get into it, I'm going to have to kind of give you a couple of heads up. One, it makes no sense, this apology video, and he keeps contradicting himself, and he keeps going back on what he also said throughout his apology video. And two, look at his friend in the background, trying to give us some sort of like boxing, like death stare, like he thinks he's a fucking hard man, even though both of them are built like fucking, like the heavyweight champions at Auschwitz. But yeah, look at him trying to stare at us like he's, like he's fucking hard throughout this video. Just watch this guy. What are going on, people? It's your boy Mizzy taking over Skits' channel. Listen, you men have already seen what's been going on on the internet. I've taken over. Literally, bro. Then we call this out. Then we manifest all of this to happen, bro. And it's happening. I have to go to the station in the next two hours to have myself in for this viral video. Um, I just wanted to address some things before that happens. One, I apologize to the woman. She was calm with it, they were calm with it, like after the next day. She recorded the apology. I was gonna record the apology, but I said this goes deeper than social media. I don't need to record the apology. I'm gonna come to you as a man and apologize to you guys. That's that bit. The dog, the woman with the dog, the situation goes deeper than social media as well. And I was gonna, like my friend dared me to take the dog because the dog took our food and the dog kept coming back and forth. Like the dog was doing the mad thing in it. And I said to the woman, I'm gonna take your dog if the dog comes back as a joke. She acknowledged it as a joke and she was like, oh, my grandson watches you on TikTok. I'm like, she didn't say that. It's just something with my granddaughter or something. And yeah, the dog situation, I gave the dog back, so don't worry about that. Also, this new situation about the Jews is rising again. Well, it's not new, it's old. I already got arrested for that. They're trying to arrest me for racially aggravated assault. It was a 300 challenge. Um, if you find the video, pull it up on the screen somewhere. 300, why would I stop? So I've done it to so many different people, black people, white people, anyone, bro. In London, it's just diverse in it everyone's everywhere in it so me doing it to just a jewish person i didn't see any difference between me doing it to a white or black person that went out of proportion i explained that to the police and then that case got dropped and it turned to criminal damage from a different case and that's mainly all i wanted to say all the videos you see oh yeah the females there's a new thing going around as well of old video asking females if they want to die First of all, that wasn't a female that I asked who wants to die. It was a couple, there was a boy and a girl, and I asked the man. And then the girl, you can even see in the clip, I, make sure you put the clip out. She says, what did she say again? Um, along the lines of something man, like don't touch him. Stop touching him. So she says stop touching him, so that's fully like evidence of her acknowledging that he's a guy. And he's a guy, he's a fucking guy, bro. He's not a girl, bro. I would never ask a girl if they want to die, that's a bit wild. Respect my thing. 
Keep sharing the word of We Outside. We Outside, the movement goes deeper than social media. I may be banned everywhere, but I'm still everywhere. I'm trending on Twitter, I'm trending on TikTok, I'm trending on YouTube. I don't even have an account anywhere. And I'm there. Right, I've had to pause the video here because there's been a massive update regarding the Mizzy case, or as we now know him as, Vicari Ogoro. He has handed himself over to the police, and it looks like this time around he has actually been arrested, and hopefully this time he gets charged with the criminal acts that he's uploaded to his YouTube and TikTok and other social media platforms as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this clip play out of him being arrested as it was filmed by his mates as per usual, and I'll come back to you very soon. So... Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of seconds. The movement is real. We can go. Hey, 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 hey. Every day. My boy is mid. I love you, my boy. You're on the other side, bro. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Whatever happens, happens. The movement is real. We outside every single we day. Make that. sure to share. Make that. sure to share this everywhere. 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 Free the guys. Free the guys. Everywhere. Free me. Everywhere, man. When I see you again. Oh. 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 The movement is real, spoken like a true Wish.com version of Andrew Tate. Now, it's very clear that him and his two friends share two brain cells together and the IQ of two on top of it. Now, he has been arrested again and looks like this time hopefully he'll actually be charged with something. However, there's a problem. He's now claiming that this is due to racial discrimination by the police and that's why they're headhunting him and also blaming everyone else who's hating on him to also be racist. Again, I'll save the racism part for towards the end, the end of the video. I want to go back to the apology video as I understand this section of the video is getting a bit complicated due to the update, but after this I'll keep it in a straight line as much as possible. So, the apology video. He states within the apology video that he's wanting to apologise to his victim's faces without recording it because he wants to be a, a man about the situation. What a joke even saying that. However, at the same time, he also says that he does not regret his decisions in making the videos. How do you want to apologise to someone and make up for it, if that is at all possible? And also at the same time saying you don't regret your decisions. If you don't regret your decisions, then you would not apologise. So I, I don't know what this guy's on about, honestly. Also, going back to the racial discrimination allegations by him towards the police and his haters, apparently... Yeah, you're the one that handed yourself over to the police. They did not come and get you, sadly. You had to go into the police station and surrender yourself. And also, people are not hating on you because you're black. Again, I'll try and save most of this towards the end of the video, but people are not hating on you because you're black. They're hating on you, they're hating on you because you're a fucking cunt. Anyway, let's move over to the second part of the video, which is the legal justice system in the UK and also the self-defence laws. The UK justice system and the self-defence laws within the UK itself. Now, in the past he has been arrested and the charges were hate crimes against a Jewish person after he assaulted a random Jewish person in London in public in broad daylight and of course uploaded it to TikTok, hence why the police know about it. Now, he was originally charged for that hate crime. However, I think the police very quickly realised, hmm, if we charge a black person for a hate crime when they're always the victim of it, never the ones to cause it, this is going to look very bad towards us and we don't want the public ba the public backlash so ended up just getting a slap in the wrist and he was let go again hence why these videos have now came out because he's been able to do more and more because the, the police didn't essentially do their jobs now let's just say for example if he is not charged with anything again or the charges do not warrant jail time and he's able to go back out into the public it's only a matter of time before he fucks with the wrong person in public, always seems to be a white person in his videos, that's going to end up putting him in hospital either in critical condition or the morgue. So, and if that ends up happening, that white person is definitely going to get arrested, charged for God knows how many different types of hate crimes, and on top of that, obviously, attempted murder, or if not murder, and his name will be dragged throughout the media as well and everything else in between. That's how self-defence kind of works in the UK. Whoever's on the floor, unconscious and unresponsive, has to be the victim. There's absolutely no other way between it. Just to give you a little example, back where I used to grow up in a place called Port Glasgow in Inverclyde, there was um, something called the Slame Your Shops. 
and in the Slain Your Shops there was a person called Michael who used to run the Slain Your Shops. Now, he was held up, I believe, six or seven times within the space of two to three weeks, and the person used to run in with a machete. And Michael had enough one day and took it upon himself to grab one of his own vodka bottles from his shelf behind the counter and smash it over the person's head and gave him a very nasty head, head injury. Guess who was not charged and guess who was arrested? Michael, charged for attempted murder and assault and a couple of other things I believe on top of it. And he is not the only case in the UK. There are so many cases that you can care to mention where someone has had their life threatened, they've defended themselves and the police is attacked and arrested the person who defended themselves because they came out triumphant and the criminal on the floor has to be the victim. So, yeah, if he is released again and is the charges do not put him behind bars to keep him safe, for, keep the public safe away from him, I think it is inevitable that someone is going to absolutely go Frank Castle on him and just absolutely do a number on him and that person will be charged and arrested for a hate crime and have their name dragged throughout the whole media, which is just... No, that's just disgusting really, it honestly is, and there's a very high chance that that will be the case. So the final part of the video, racism, I want to talk about this from three different angles. The first one being that he's claiming that the only reason this is happening to him is because he's a black male. The second one is, I believe that he is actually a racist, and the third one being, I think he's going to end up causing racism towards black people. So the first one, he's claiming that well, the only reason the public backlash is happening and the police have been headhunting him essentially is because he's a black male. I'll keep this as simple as possible and as quick as possible as well. No, it's because you're an absolute scumbag cunt. There is no other ways about it. You have been filming yourself committing multiple crimes and multiple assaults on people and making people genuinely believe they're about to die. Again, with the prank being, do you want to die, blood? Like, what else did you fucking expect? Of course the police are going to come and arrest you for doing all of this. Like, again, I'll just keep it as short as sweet. You're getting arrested because you're a fucking cunt. End of story, and you deserve jail time. End of story. So, the second one. He seems to only target white people in his videos. Now, in his apology video, he does say that he goes after, you know, anyone that is, you know, doesn't just discriminate or just pick one group of people. However, throughout the videos that I've seen, I've not seen every Mizzy video because just no, I don't want to. But throughout a lot of the videos that I have seen, it seems to be only white people he's targeting. For example, the family in that really nice house that he ran into, white. The people at the train station, all the women in the train station that he asked, do you want to die? Again, white. The, the two people who had to run into the bar to run for their life because, again, he asked the same thing and charged towards him at full speed. Do you want to die, blood? Again, it only seems to be white people that he's targeting. Now, Either he is a racist or two, maybe he does have more than two brain cells. Maybe he's smart enough to know if he ran up to a black guy and did this. Since, uh, from my experience, black guys seem to be just well built, just naturally. He would get his arse ploughed into the ground instantly. Hence why he's targeting white people, because he knows the odds of that drop drastically. So, the final part of the video, why I believe he's creating a negative public image for black people. So. Imagine you're one of his victims, again, who seems to be white all the time. You have a black guy charging towards you at full speed and in one of the videos had a balaclava on, asking you, do you want to die, bruv? As he's trying to kind of somewhat corner you so he can't run away. And also having him charging towards into your house at full speed, trying to take over. And him laying hands on you again throughout his pranks. You think all of these victims are going to be traumatised by this for a few weeks, if not months, after this. And... They're now going to have the image in their head that any time that they see black people in the street, they're going to have to cross the street or run in the opposite direction because now they think that all black people are criminals and they don't know what black people to trust. You are creating this fucking problem towards your own people, mate. I don't know what on earth you've been thinking this entire time as well. You go ban on about racism while you're a victim of racism. You're creating the racism towards yourself and others. I mean, these people are, might end up actually turning out to be potentially just want to have nothing to do with black people because they're generally scared of them. And that is 100% your fault. You've created that mindset in them because you put them in a threatening position and generally made them think that their lives were about to end or they were going to be in a very horrific situation. So, again, going back to the first one, this whole crybaby thing of you being a victim of racism, 
you are causing racism towards black people, mate, honestly. Yeah, I'll just wrap the video up there. This has been going on for far too long. But yeah, I'm planning on uploading a video of the guy who knocked over a Just Stop Oil protester and got arrested for it. Um, I'll do that tomorrow and hopefully it'll be up ASAP as well. But yeah, if you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe and hit the bell notification and so on and so forth. Hopefully I'll be uploading daily from here on out. And yeah, leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree with me or if I missed out anything you think should have been in the video. But yeah, I love you all and as always, keep on rolling. And also, have a great day and a better week to follow.